for the last 25 years, I have been a commercial diver. So in the oil and gas industry mostly. Um, so a deep sea diver, I guess you'd call. I used to be what was called a saturation diver. So I live, that's the deep divers, where you're living the chambers under pressure for a month at a time. I would work all over the place. Um, it, it didn't matter where I lived as long as there was access to an airport. I mostly worked for the last probably 10 years in the Middle East, but I've worked all over Asia, some of Europe, um, South America, so everywhere. Could you explain how it is to be a diver? Like, would you say it is a fun job? Is it a maybe too tiring job? I can imagine it's also yep, straining it's straining on the body. How would you There is a lot of strain. It's uh, as so we have to do a medical every year to make sure that you're medically fit. They, it's it's pretty uh, substantial medical. Um, when I first started diving, most of the guys diving offshore in the diving industry were ex-military, ex-navy, uh, army, that sort of thing. It's because it was a, it's a fairly similar, I guess you have to have a fairly similar mindset and it's a fairly similar way of life. So you're off, you're away from family and friends for you know, months at a time and there is danger. There's danger and risk element of risk involved and so you have to have that sort of similar sort of military mindset um, nowadays it's quite quite different uh, there's a lot of younger people and there's a lot more uh, people coming from from other countries that are willing to work for less so yeah it's a slightly different industry these days than when I was there yeah you probably also exposed to a lot of chemicals which are not really healthy right? yep there um, yeah, that's the chemicals are, yeah, they're mitigated against. Like in any industry, there's really strict uh, um, occupational health and safety, of course, because it is, as I said, there's an element of risk in the job. Um, the main chemical you're likely to find there is when they're drilling uh, for oil and they use this mud and it's got toxic chemicals in there. It's like a lubricant and that'll, that'll burn your skin, but uh, you wear special suits when you're in there and you try to uh, in barry cream and you try to mitigate that. Yeah. And usually you get on site for the job, so you get separated from the family, you have to go to a place, be there for a few months, finish this job and then you get sent back. That's right. And uh, you never really know when the next job's going to be. That can be a bit stressful. Uh, sometimes you're really busy and sometimes you don't work for three, four, five months, you know, um, makes planning very hard. It's, it's always, it's the worst part of the job. Uh, you're away for you know, big events like Christmas, birthdays, that sort of thing. You can't really plan. Uh, you know, someone says, you know, we're going, so, you know, we're going to do something in two months time. Do you want to join us? And you can't say yes, because, because of the work. Yeah. Yeah. Did you have to look out for each of yourself or is there something like an agency or something involved? Uh, there is agencies, but most of my work was gained through companies. You, you approach a company, um, you get a bit of a reputation, I guess, if you've been in the industry for a while, that sort of thing. So, uh, you know, once you prove yourself, you're normally pretty, easy, pretty good for work. And how did you first get into that? I mean, you were not a military diver. Right. No, I wasn't a military diver. Um, I first got into it uh, back when I was just snorkeling and just recreational diving at, uh, and I sort of had a bit of a loss for what I wanted to do with my life and um, and someone asked me, they said, you know, well, what do you like doing? I said, well, I like diving. They said, can you do that for a job? So I looked into it and yeah, there you go. Yeah. And then you got your training. So yeah, so it's extensive training um, and it's the hardest bit about going offshore in oil and gas, that's, that's what everyone wants to do. Um, the hardest bit about that is actually getting offshore, getting that first job. But once you do, if you're you know, any good, you'll, you'll, you'll get work fairly regularly. And nowadays, what would you say can a diver expect to earn if you work so? Yeah, It totally depends on where you're working. Um, Middle East, the rates are lower. Uh, North, North Sea in Australia, 
uh, are very, you know, very lucrative. They're the most uh, well paid in the world. Um, you know, North Sea divers. So again, you're doing from one month to three months a year. So you might work seven months a year, all up, uh, nine months maximum sort of thing. And it depends again, Middle East, you know, Middle East that time you could earn probably 120 to 150,000 euro and the North Sea you could earn 200, 250 if you're, yeah, regular work. Yeah, it's, it can be very lucrative. But there's also, as I said, lots of downtime where all of a sudden there's no jobs. Yeah. And then while you're on site, you probably still have a regulated day, like Monday to Friday. Very, or... very regulated. It's seven days a week, 12 hour shifts for seven days a week. For, for seven days a week? Seven so days a week. Have off days. Don't have off so days. Seven months in a row. Well, no, not in a row. So you go away for. Maybe it might be a month, it might be three months, um, depending on the contract. But yeah, you're on shift every day of that three months. So yeah, without a day off.